Okay, today we're going to be looking at solving equations that contain complex numbers. Now this, this equation is x minus 8 squared equals negative 25, it should say. Okay, negative 25. And we know the square root of a number. We always said you couldn't take the square root of a negative number, but now that we have i, we can do so. So the first thing we do is we take the square root of both sides, given as x minus 8 on the left equals the square root of negative 25 on the right. Now we can divide up the square root of negative 25 into two parts, the negative one part and the square root of 25. This gives us x minus 8 equals to the square root of 25, which is I mean, square root of negative 1, which is i, times the square root of 25, which is 5. And we simply bring the 8 to the other side of the equation, giving us 8 equals plus 5i. Now, you may remember when you take the square root of a number, you always get two answers when you're solving an equation. For example, if you had x squared is equal to 4, you would say x is equal to positive or negative 2. So we have to remember to include in our problem that it is not only plus the 5i, but also minus. So our final answer is x equals 8 plus or minus is 5i. Now here's a second example. In this case, we are taking 7 times the quantity x minus 3 squared equals negative 49. And remember, we have to isolate the square by itself so we can take the square root of it. So we're going to divide both numbers by 7. So given us x minus 3 squared, is equal to negative 7. And then we're going to take the square root of both sides. x minus 3 is equal to the square root of negative 7. Once again, we can divide negative 7 up into the square root of negative 1 times the square root of 7. This gives us x minus 3, which is equal to the i, because the square root of negative 1 is i, times the square root of 7. Again, we need to have our plus or our minus. We add 3 to both sides, giving us positive 3 plus or minus i square root to 7. For our, our third example, we're adding something before the square. So again, we have to get the square by itself. we got to isolate the square. So we're going to subtract 10 from each side, and that's going to give us x minus 3 squared is equal to negative 12. Then we take the square root of both sides, x minus 3 is equal to the square root of negative 12. Remember, negative 12 can be divided up into the square root of negative 4 times the square root of 3. This gives us x minus 3 equals plus or minus 2i, square root of 4, it, negative 4 is 2i, times the square root of 3, because the square root of 3 cannot be simplified. We add 3 to each side, and we get x is equal to 3 plus or minus 2i square roots of 3. For our final answer.